this is kind of a different weekend for us because we're not camping. Um, it is actually our wedding anniversary today. So, uh, <laughs> so we decided to get cleaned up and uh, go to Grand Rapids where we are at the Frederick Meyer Garden and Sculpture Park. And then I think we're gonna go have a nice dinner afterward. The Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park is 158 acres of a lot of things. There's gardens, waterfalls, artwork, sculptures, both indoor and outdoors. There's just a lot to enjoy here. And it's kind of one of Michigan's, or at least the West Michigan area's most unique places to visit. It is pretty neat, the variety that they have here. Um, indoor, there's a number of greenhouses, the different types of environments for the different mm -hmm. kind of plants. There's arid, there's carnivorous. I know this was kind of a cool area. I enjoyed that one. Uh, but then there is just a, a tremendous amount of trails here that you can walk on to enjoy the different kinds of the plants and flowers. Mm -hmm. And then they actually have it broken into different sections in terms of the types of gardens. You've got a Michigan farmhouse area with, it's not a working farm, but they do have actual like garden plants that you can learn about it. Today while we were here, it was heirloom tomato day and they had grown all of them in the gardens here on the grounds. And so they were demonstrating um, just and showing off the different varieties and had little games for kids to play and learn about different tomatoes. And so that was kind of cool. They do different things throughout the year as well. So different weekends or different times of the year, you might get different activities. There is a Japanese garden and that there's a big pond and then you can walk all the way around the pond where there's different flowers and sculptures and bonsai trees and, and all just different things. And that's just really kind of cool and peaceful. There is the children's garden. Um, there is the, I think they call it the Woodland Glen, which is what we're sitting in right now. And it's just a lot of different types of environments, different ways to see nature and plants. And, uh, and then there is the sculpture park, um, which is a lot of sculptures. sculptures. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of funny. I was trying to think of the word for it. Uh, some, of it some of it is sort of more definitive art, like the American horse is a huge sculpture that's here and it's pretty famous. And, and it's one of those where you kind of look at it and go, it's a horse. There's a lot more abstract. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> abstract art, which neither one of us really understand, but it's kind of cool to wander around and it's just a kind of relaxing way to, to spend the day to, to do that. Well, and, and we have a tendency, we like naming the sculptures or guessing what their names are before they get up there. We're like wrong 110% of the time, but we have a good time <laughs> with making up our own names for things. Yep, <laughs> uh, and, and we had a good time wandering around the children's garden, even though we're not kids, although I guess I can be, tend to be one. Kids at heart, and you're about <laughs> kid size, right? Um, but yeah, it's a really nice little children's garden for kids to kind of run around, burn off some energy. There's a treehouse village type thing in there that, that they can climb on. So I thought that was kind of neat that they have that here too. It, it, it's a good spot for couples who just want to wander around on a nice romantic day, but also if you have a family and want to come out and, and enjoy the gardens and the sculpture park here, it, it works for you too. As we mentioned, there's both inside and outside things to see here. Inside, like you mentioned, you've got some of the, like the arid gardens where there's cactuses and that kind of thing. There's also a really huge conservatory, like double story greenhouse conservatory with a big waterfall and um, you, you know walk around. What's really cool about that is in the spring, I think it's in March and April time, they do a butterfly release here. And that is one of their main attractions in the spring. And so they will, you know, grow, grow the butterfly, I guess it is, raise the butterfly, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then they release them inside the conservatory. So for about two weeks, that conservatory is just filled with butterflies, like flying everywhere. And it is one of the cooler things to do and see. So if you happen to be in the area, I would plan around that time to come visit. Now, granted, outside at that time of year is not necessarily the best. It's usually snowy. So this is one of those places where you want to check out multiple times a year, um, different seasons, because you're going to see different things. And one of the things I like about this place too is there is a huge parking lot. So for those of you who are watching us that are usually in an RV, uh, <laughs> there's plenty of room for you here. But one of the things I noticed is even though the parking lot seemed like it had a lot of cars in it, I never really felt crowded here today. There are a few bottlenecks on certain paths and in certain gardens, that kind of thing. But there's plenty of places where you can just wander off and be by yourselves here, even though the parking lot was pretty full. If you are watching this video and it's still COVID-19 time and you're interested in coming, the indoors is open, as is the outdoors. Inside, you have to wear your mask and stay your six feet apart. Outside, you still have to stay your six feet apart, but no masks are required. Unless you're congregating in one of the more enclosed areas like the barn or maybe in the children's garden area or one of those places. But otherwise, everybody's, again, they've been very respectful. If you're on a path and it's a you know smaller path, letting somebody pass before they go. So, 
And I think those are just common courtesy things that we should be doing anyway and, and not crowding people trying to take pictures and getting in their way. So maybe one thing we'll get out of all this COVID is just a little bit more respect from people in general, just personal space and understanding of, of letting people enjoy what they're there to enjoy without crowding them in. And this is a place you can enjoy. If you find yourself in West Michigan in the Grand Rapids area, check out the Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. It, it really is a, a nice place to visit and spend some time. Uh, I guess we should mention a few hours easily. Oh yeah, a few right? hours plus. Yeah, like we've, I think, been here about three and a half and we could have spent more time, less time. It just depends on how much you want to read all of the plaques and, and let your kids run around and, you know, check things out. So a minimum of three hours, but you could easily spend more here. <laughs> So consider checking it out. Get out somewhere, do something, keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there. Little anniversary dessert on the beach. It's not ice cream, but it's, uh, Really good peanut butter pie.